Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. This is a simple but delicious crepe batter recipe and it can be made in minutes. And the ingredients are something that everyone pretty much has on hand. Today I'm showing you how to make dessert crepes, but this can be used for breakfast crepes as well. I start by adding a little sugar to the strawberries, whipping up some eggs, pouring some melted butter, and basically pre-pouring all your ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, sift one cup of all-purpose flour. Then add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now half a cup of milk. And also half a cup of water. And two tablespoons of butter that's been melted. Then add two eggs that's been slightly beaten. And yes, I put it all in the bowl at once. I take the mixer and I mix it until it's really well incorporated and completely smooth. And it should be a thin batter like this and basically free of lumps. This pan is made for things like this, but you can do it in an ordinary frying pan if that's all you have. I turn the heat on to about five or six, so a moderate heat. Get the utensils that's going to work for this and pour just enough canola oil to lightly grease your pan. Measure and pour your batter onto a hot pan. Tilt the pan with a circular motion so that the batter coats the surface evenly. You will have to do this quickly because it will start to cook right away as soon as it touches the pan. And you'll cook the crepe for about two minutes until the bottom is light brown. I loosen the edges with a spatula and to check the bottom to see how it's doing and if it's browning up. And it needs just a little bit more, so I'll leave it for just a few more seconds and then I'll flip it over and slightly brown the other side as well, but it won't take as long this time. Once it's cooked, remove it quickly from the pan and place it on your plate. And they're nice served hot, so someone can start with that one while you finish cooking the rest. And don't forget that your pan needs to be just lightly greased, and that you need to work quickly and tilt your pan back and forth on the circular motion right away as soon as the batter hits the pan. And if you follow these little tips, it's actually quite easy. And I'm using this batter just like it is because I find it's a great offset to the sweetness that's in the fruit. But if you wanted to add a teaspoon or two of sugar to the batter, if you were going to do a breakfast burrito, let's say, with eggs, it might be something that would offset that in a different way, of course. And would turn out a little bit more like a breakfast burrito. And either way, you still need to make it nice and thin and cook it just perfectly. And you'll totally enjoy this. It's an awesome recipe. Choose your own fillings. That's what will make this really exciting. Here's bananas and Nutella and whipped cream. Here I'm putting a spread of Nutella on it and then some sliced strawberries inside. Then roll it from one side to the other, kind of jelly roll fashion. And then I'll top it off with some whipped cream and more fruit on top and some chocolate drizzle. This is my personal favorite. And it's best served while it's still warm. So go ahead and indulge. Enjoy this. It's quite a treat. Let's cut into this and see what it looks like inside. Come on, what's not to like here? Such a decadent dessert, but with such simple, simple ingredients. You can do this. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Best Recipes with Sharon. And until next time, happy eating.